All right. We've got Beanie here. Oh, good boy. Good listen. Yes, good down. There you go. Good job. And we'll do the same thing as we did with Mochi. Just some uh, some name recognition, some recall, letting him go out and run around, get some exercise, use his nose. And I think for Pablo, we're gonna switch things up a little bit. And I'll talk about that more in his video. So especially with Beanie here, we'll probably end up having to use a little bit more leash pressure as well to make sure he doesn't get himself into any trouble. But we really want to try to use his, his name and recall him back whenever possible. It helps to use the longer leash in exercises like this because if he hits the end of it, and he feels that leash pressure and then you call him, sometimes you might not be certain on what he's actually responding to. Whereas if there's no leash pressure and then he just responds to his name, that's a little bit more obvious. So he just got startled there by a little bit of sound. Good boy. Good job, big guy. And I'm just going to also reward him when he comes back on his own accord as well. The difference already between having treats to reward him and not having treats like uh, in our first exercise last night is definitely apparent. He's still following his nose, but he's already starting to check in a little bit more. So I'll definitely continue to reward that behavior as well. Okay. So before he gets to the end of the lead, let's see if he has a pee. Good boy, very good. <laughs> Down, boy. I, I think he gets the idea that if he comes back to me, he'll get a reward. Good boy. So we can also tie this into his jumping, right? Letting him know that he doesn't get a reward unless all four paws are on the ground or he's in a nice sit. And then also, we could start training him to not jump in the first place because we know as soon as he starts coming to us that he's gonna pop up. So I'm gonna preemptively give him that command to either sit or down. Right. Wait. Oh, there you go, that works too. Good job. Perfect. Right. So if you do it early enough, you might not even know if he's not jumping or about to jump, which is perfectly fine. Rather that than be too late and he's jumping and you're working on getting him down. So you're already also much too late, especially for behaviors like, like the jumping, you wanna be as preemptive as possible. Down, very good. All right. And just like with Mochi's video, we're gonna go ahead and start cutting in and out for time. <laughs> I think we're gonna definitely get in a lot, a lot of good non-jumping practice here now. And you can really tell just the fact of having treats that he enjoys, how much easier it is to, to maintain his focus. It might even be harder to practice recall at this rate. But we'll just, we'll definitely get some good practice in, whether it's with this jumping behavior or the recall.
down. Good. Good job. Come on. Down. Good. Beanie. Beanie. Leave it. Yes, very good. Sit. Good job. Good, down, very good. Very good, good job. Good boy, come on big guy. Down. Good boy. Come. Yes, good job. Oh, you're doing great with treats. Good job. Good boy. Let's go. So once again, we're kind of letting him explore a little bit, use his nose, and then practice his name while he's a little distracted there. That way he gets used to, <laughs> that way he gets used to listening and working through it. Come, good job, boy. So what I'm doing now, because he's doing really well, is I'm adding in kind of a touch in a heel position. So that way when he comes to me, when he's excited, I'm already giving him some guidance on what to do as opposed to jumping and just telling him not to jump, like right there, right? So when he comes back, he already has something else to do other than jump for excitement for me or the treat. So we're, we're just replacing one bad habit with a, a good one. He's actually been doing so well on his own that we haven't really had a chance to practice much with his name. So I'm going to try to record that happening this time. And all I'm looking for is when he's, you know, moderate distance away, definitely, definitely interested and has got his nose on the ground distracting him and then using his name, looking for that quick response. Beanie. Yes, good boy, very good. Yes, perfect. Good job, big guy. Yes, you go ahead. Later on, as he gets better at this, we'll start working on maintaining focus, but he's even doing some of that already on his own really well. Good job. boy and here yes so a lot of times what I see people do is try to force their dog into the heel by constantly pulling or shortening the lead which can be helpful but right now we're teaching him what heel actually means to come to that certain spot next to you and actually he's doing the work of moving himself there each time so especially with being a puppy the more that you make them think about what to do and what they should be doing the better it is usually for their development you always need to help them out every now and then but if they can do it on their own and you just guide them that's really beneficial for their progress 
And so all we've done so far is kind of that practice of him getting treats next to me and also touching my hand off of that recall, right? So <laughs> got distracted with some woodland creatures. Oh, actually, oh, there's a bird there. So this could actually be a really good example here. Beanie, yes, touch, good. Good boy, good boy. Let him run off again. Don't know what that is. <laughs> we'll use some leash pressure to get him away from that. Good boy. Definitely a puppy. Good job, big guy. So now that we have his attention, go ahead and touch. Good. And eventually, he's already starting to get it. We actually tie into the touch with the heel command and then he gets a reward for recalling back next to us. Right. So wait for him to get a little bit of distance. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, beanie, heel. Perfect. Good boy. Good heel. That's what it looks like. Good job, big guy. Let him explore some more. We'll keep on practicing. Good. Touch. Good. One. Beanie. Yes. Two. Good boy. Yes. Very good. So there, I'm seeing how long I can have him walk next to me in a nice heel. <laughs> Getting distracted by another doggo. This will actually be great practice too. Beanie. Yes, good boy. Heel. Yes, with me. Heel. Yes, good job. Good boy, go get him. He's doing really well. What do you think, big guy? What do you think? Yes, good boy. Right here? Yes, up here? Good, very good. So here what I've done is I've locked the leash to like a normal six foot lead range. So that way, because I know that he's interested in the other Ooh. dog playing there doesn't get himself in trouble by running across the street but we can also still work on rewarding that leash pressure All right so when he jumps up doesn't get anything very good yes very good when he sits down he gets the treat that leash pressure good good stop very good good boy so all I'm doing is just rewarding at least giving praise every time he hits that end of the lead and comes back good boy very good good boy okay we'll do one more leash pressure exercise here Yes, good boy. Very good. Oh, good boy. Up here? Good. Beanie. Yes, good job. And heel. Very good. Good boy. Let's go.